If you have tension in your upper trapezius muscles when you get stressed or you've got forward head posture, then the technique that you're gonna to learn today is gonna to help with both. Yo, what's up? Coach e here from Precision Movement. And today I'm pretty excited because I get to share with you something special that I've been working on for a little while. And that's a new mobile app and videos and techniques designed and edited in a specific way that are gonna be featured in the app. So I'm super pumped to demonstrate that for you today. And I'd love your feedback after you check it out. So. After you do check it out, let me know what you think about it, the video editing style that is, and give me any comments or suggestions that might help me to make it better for you down in the comments down below. Okay, so this technique is a dissociation technique and it's gonna help you if you have tension in the upper traps, when you get stressed, especially it just tense up and you can get trigger points in the upper trapezius muscles, and it also helps with forward head posture. So. If you're walking around like this, this technique is going to help with both of those. And it's a dissociation technique. So a dissociation technique is one that is featured in all of my control series of courses, shoulder control, spine control, et cetera, et cetera. And what it does is it breaks those ingrained movement and or activation patterns that you have that can result in either dysfunctional movement or structural or dysfunctional postures. So this technique specifically, when we get stressed and the upper trapezius tends to tense up, what happens with your posture is you get the forward head. So you're working at the computer, you start to get that stress and your head creeps forward towards the screen. This technique is gonna break that, okay? So let's get into it right now. The protocol is very, very specific. So follow along, work on it, especially pay attention to the breathing and then we'll come back and we'll break it down. Forward head dissociation from scapular elevation. Start off by poking your chin forward, giving yourself forward head, and then pull your chin in, lengthen the cervical spine, and elevate your scapula. In this position, hold for one slow breath and keep activating the muscles to get into this range of motion. Release, poke your chin forward, and then depress the scapula. In this position, activate for one slow breath. And repeat for prescribed number of reps. So there you have the forward head scapular elevation dissociation technique. Now you'll wanna do that for three cycles. And at first, if you have this issue where you get stressed and the head juts forward, where you get a lot of trigger points and tension in those upper trapezius muscles, do this on a daily basis for at least one week. And after that, you can drop down maybe two to three times a week, one to two sets of three cycles, and you're good to go. Okay, and this is gonna help to break that pattern so that every time you shrug your shoulders, your head isn't automatically jutting forward. So if you're carrying some grocery bags, you're doing farmer's walks, you got a little shrug going on, the upper trapezius are working, you're still able to maintain that neutral spinal, cervical spinal alignment, okay? So like I said, this video specifically is from my upcoming mobile app called ROM Coach. That's R-O-M, Range of Motion Coach. And this is something that I've been working on for the last five or six months since September of 2019, and I'm very excited to get it into your hands. We're kind of nearing launch very, very soon. So if you're interested in checking out this app, it's gonna be free to download. Just visit the link in the card, the information button, or in the description down below. And if it's not yet live, you could sign up for the waiting list. And it, if it is live, you'll get a little information about it and links to download it at the Apple Store and the Google Play Store. So there you have this technique to help with your forward head or stress tension trigger points in the upper trapezius. So use this technique as I've prescribed to improve forward head, decrease the trigger points and tension that you get in your upper trapezius and make sure that you don't carry around this dysfunctional pattern into other movements and activities.